Good morning. Today's lesson is 7.1. Today we're going to learn about exponents. Our essential question, how do you write and find the value of expressions involving exponents? You can use an exponent and a base to show repeated multiplication of the same factor. An exponent is a number that tells how many times a number called the base is used to repeat the factor. So like right here we have the base is 5 and the exponent is 3. So this is essentially saying that 5, which is the base, is going to be repeated three times. So 5 times 5 times 5. Uh, don't make the mistake of saying 5 times 3, because it's not that. It's 5 times 5 times 5. So let's unlock the problem. The table shows the number of bonuses a player can receive in each level of a video game. Use an exponent to write the number of bonuses a player can receive in level D. So we're going to use an exponent to write 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So remember that the number 3 is being used as the repeating factor, right? 3 times 3 times 3. And the 3 is used 1, 2, 3, 4 times, right? So the base is going to be 3 and the exponent is going to be 4. So a player can receive 3 to the 4th power. Bonuses in level D. Let's look at A. So we have 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. So the number 7 is the one that's being repeated, and it is being repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So we're going to have 7 to the 5th power. Um, 5 is going to be the exponent. So now the numbers on this one, we have 6 times 6 times 8 times 8 times 8. So the number 6 and the number 8 are being repeated. And 6 is being repeated 1, 2 times. And 8 is being repeated 1, 2, 3 times. So it's going to be 6 to the second power and 8 to the third power. Let's look at another example. 10 with an exponent of 3. So what is the repeated factor? Well, the repeated factor is the 10. And then the amount of times that you're going to multiply that that base or that repeated factor is going to be 3 times. So 10 to the third power or 10 with the 3 being the exponent is going to be 10 times 10 times 10 because this number tells you how many times it's repeated, right? So now you're going to multiply each pair of factors working right from left. So you have 10 times 10 times 10, right? So 10 times 10 is 100. And then you're going to take the 100 times 10, and you're going to get 1,000. So if this were, say, 10 to the fourth power, right, then it would be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So you'd have it times 4. So you'd have 10 times 10, which is the 100. Then you would multiply it times the 10 again and get 100. And then you'd have one more 10, and you would get 10,000, right, and so on and so forth. So let's do this one. We're going to multiply each each pair of factors working right from left. So we have seven, and there's one as the exponent. So the repeated factor is gonna be the big number, which is seven, and we're going to write it one time. Well, if we're writing it one time, it's seven, right? Uh, if we were writing it two times, like that, seven, to the, if this were a two, then it would be seven times seven, right? Which would be 49. And if it were three times, seven times three, it would be seven times seven times seven. So I'd have, 7 times 7, which is the 49, and then I'd have 49 times 7, which is 343. So you get the idea. All right, example number 2. Okay, so let's find the correct exponent in this. So if we had 81 and we're writing with an exponent by using 3 as the base, we're going to try until we get there. So 3 with an exponent of 2 would be 3 times 3 because that tells you how many it repeats, right? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, so that's not 81. So let's try it with 3. So that's 3 times 3 times 3, right? So 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. Still not at the 81. So let's try 3 to the 4th power. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 of the 3's, right? So 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So now I finally have that. So 81 equals the 3 to the 4th power. Number one says, explain how to write repeated multiplication of a factor by using exponents. 
Well, the way that you do that is you're going to use the repeated factor as the base and then use the number of repeated factors as the exponent, like we did just above. Number two, think smarter. If 5 to the second power equals 2 to the fifth power, explain why or why not. Well, no, it does not. Oh, let me fix this. It doesn't because 5 to the second power is essentially 5 times 5, which is 25, right? And 2 to the fifth power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. 32 and 25 are not equal. Number three, describe a method. Describe how you would have solved the problem in example two by using division. Well, what you could have done is started with 81 and then divided by 3 until you got the quotient, which was 1, kind of like what we did the other way. So if I were to do that, I, I would start 81 divided by 3. Well, that's 27, so I did it one time. Then 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So if you look, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 times I did that. So that means that the exponent is going to be 4 because... I had four divisions by three. So 81 equals three to the fourth power. All right, so I'm just gonna do a couple more with you just to make sure you've got it. So it says write two to the fourth power using the repeated multiplication and then find the value of two to the fourth power. So two to the fourth power, that means I have two as my base and I'm gonna do it four times. So two, one, two, three, four times, right? So two times two is four times two is eight times 2 is 16. So the answer is going to be 16. Now on this, it says write one or more exponents to write the expression. Well, I'm looking here, I'm multiplying 7, so my base is going to be 7, and I'm multiplying it 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so my exponent is going to be 4. All right, the rest you're going to do with a partner or on your own, and I'm always there if you need me. Good luck.